What's up, people? Joe Winko here, your favorite Hawaiian guy. And this is a tutorial video on how to download all of my YouTube videos from Internet Archive. I have them all uploaded here, and I'll have a link to this in the pinned comments and the description of this uh, this video. But here's here they all are right here. Now, they can be a bit difficult to download. There There is an option to download a full zip of each category because that's how I have them split up into different categories. But sometimes it can't make a zip file of all the videos at all because the file size is too big. Not exactly sure if I explained that right. But this is a tutorial on how to use a program to download each category. And it's called AOGET. And I'll have a link to download this in the description and pinned comments of this video. They basically have a GIF manual on how to download a bunch of files from Internet Archive using this program. But I'm going to do a video tutorial on it. And this is how you do it. So first, you have to get it from the releases page, which is right here. And then you click here to download the installer. And when you download it, the installer, once the installer is finished downloading, I'll have a link to this page in the pinned comment as well. I already have it downloaded and installed, but after you download it, the installer, you go to the folder where you downloaded the installer, and then you right click and go to run as administrator. And then you wait for it to install and you follow all the steps for it to install. Now, I already have it installed, but I forgot to mention this earlier. Either when you're installing it or trying to run it, you might get this message right here. Microsoft Defender has prevented an unrecognized app from starting. Um, just click Run Anyway. I mean, I haven't had any problems with it. But if you get this message, just click Run Anyway. And then after that, you open it up, and it looks like this. Now, this interface might seem a bit tricky at first, but it's actually pretty simple. Now, the first thing you need to do is go on to Internet Archive, and you need to go to my videos. I'll have a link to the, this list of all the categories I separated my videos in, because that's how they're separated into categories. And then you click on one of the categories. I'll for this tutorial, I'm going to use the Walking Dead Joewenko videos. These are all the videos I did back in 2015 on my Walking Dead channel. I haven't done any of those in a maddeningly long time. And then we go here to MPEG-4 or MP4, but it's going to say MPEG-4. You click this down arrow, and then you scroll all the way down to Show All. And then you copy this link right here, archive.org, and well, in the URL header where you type the URLs at. And then you open up AOG beta, and then, well, AO get beta, and then you click the paper with the plus sign on it that says create a new job. You click that. And then it says provide URR and click on the button. This will automatically get all links non-recursively. So you paste the link that you copied here. And then you click this button, the cloud with the down arrow. It says fetching links. And we're going to go to MP4 because that's, um, that's the file format that all my videos uploaded on the Internet Archive are in. And then we're going to select MP4, and then we're going to click this plus sign, check all shown. Now, there's still more stuff we need to do before we start downloading them. Notice how, if you look really closely, there's multiple files uh, with the same name, like uh, Fear of the Walking Dead Episode 1X06 or and Fear of the Walking Dead Episode 1X06. Notice that? Now, the thing that's going on with that, for some reason, um, Internet Archive, when I use this method to download all the videos, it 
makes a copy of my YouTube video videos of some of them, not necessarily all of them, but some of them it does. Like you see up here, Fear of the Walking Dead, episode 1x06, the good man, joewinko.ia. That's the same video as the one down here, Fear of the Walking Dead, episode 1x06, the good man, Joe Winko. It's just that the copy of it, the, or the duplicate of it that it makes, has .ia in front of the MP4 at the ending. So to make sure that we don't download the copies of them and we only download one of each video, we're going to go here, filter the selector tree, and we're going to type in dot IA. And then from there, you see that all of these have a dot IA in front of the MP4. These are all the copies, and we don't want to download any of the copies because we're already downloading tons of files. So we're going to click the minus sign, uncheck all shown, and there. So then after we do that, let me erase that. And as you see, only one of each video is checked. None of the duplicates that Internet Archive made for some reason are checked at all and they won't be downloaded. So yeah, happy about that. Now we have to set the local target folder. This is the folder where all the downloaded videos are going to be saved at. So I already, so I already made a folder for that right here and I'm just going to copy its name and the file path for it and I'm going to paste it here and I'm going to make sure that it actually went through because sometimes if you just paste it here it doesn't actually go through and doesn't actually set it to that so to make sure that it has just click these uh, three periods right here and click which which is browse and there like yeah it's set to the right folder and the right directory when we just click select folder and then we click OK, and then they'll automatically start downloading. So there. And then from there, we just wait for all of these to download. So um, yeah, it's also going to tell you the size of all these videos downloaded once this loads up. It actually downloads fairly quickly. I mean, um, well, depending on your internet speed, it downloads fairly quickly. Most of the videos I have uploaded onto Internet Archive are compressed. And you can actually do this like multiple times, like multiple categories of videos can be downloading at once. Say we want to download, well, Hopefully you guys download all of them, like I asked you guys to. But let me find one that I haven't downloaded yet. Say we also want to download... Um, trying to find that. The Rising Dead videos that I did. Here they all are. And it also includes the episodes of The Rising, Talking Dead, Joe Winko. So as I showed you, we're going to click the down arrow next to MPEG4, click Show All, and then we're going to copy the URL, and then we're going to go here, and then we're going to click Create New Job, paste the URL, and then click the Get Download Links. We're just reviewing on what I went over earlier. Then we click MP4 to show all the MP4 files, which is the format that all my videos on Internet Archive are in. Then we click Check All Shown. And then under the filter tree, we type in .ia. And then it will only show us the duplicates that we don't want to download. And then we click the Uncheck All Shown, the minus button right here. And then when we erase that, and then we set the target folder, and I'm just going to paste the same one. And to make sure that it went through, I'm going to click the button with the three periods that says Browse. And yep, that's the folder I'm going to download them all to. The same folder that I'm saving the Walking Dead and Scream TV review videos I did in. And then we're going to click OK. 
and then that's going to automatically start downloading. And yeah, they, they, you can download multiple categories at the same time. You can just have like all of them downloading at once. However, there is one thing I should say. There are tons of video files and the file sizes, even though all the videos are compressed, uh, almost all of them are compressed, the file size is quite large. If you downloaded every single video that I have uploaded onto Internet Archive, I still need to double check this, but it would be a bit under two terabytes. But to be safe, I would, well, for one, make sure to watch the file size. And two, I would put them all on a four terabyte external hard drive. You can get those from Amazon and they, they definitely will all fit on there. They definitely will all fit on there. But that's how, that's how large all the files I have uploaded. When you combine every single category of all 1,000 of my YouTube videos that I have posted onto Internet Archive, well, I have over 1,000 videos posted on Internet Archive, that's how large they all are, like roughly under two terabytes, two to three terabytes. I'm going to round up for that estimate. I'm going to round up to three terabytes. So, yeah, because they're all compressed. All of them, except for the shorts, these videos, all of them are compressed except for the shorts. These are the only ones that aren't compressed. And we're also going to do the same thing a third time. We're going to download all of these videos. I'm going to show you <laughs> one third time on how to download all of them. Copy the URL and then go here and then create a new job. Paste the URL and then click get download links, fetching links. And then after we clicked this button, it's going to show all the download links and then we're going to click the down arrow next to MP4, and then we're going to click the plus button, check all shown. But as you can see, there's duplicates of each video, and we don't want to download any of the duplicates. I mean, yeah, some of the videos won't have duplicates, but quite a few of them will. Every single category that I tried downloading did. So we're going to type in dot IA dot to filter out all the duplicates, and then You'll see all the duplicates here then, because each one has a .ia in front of the .mp4. Then we're going to click the minus button, uncheck all shown. And then when we erase that, we see that only one of the videos, I mean, only one of each video is shown. So yeah, and then from there, as I showed you earlier, we're going to paste the set the local target folder. I'm actually going to save these under a different folder. So let me make that real quick. So there, I have the folder made. And I'm going to highlight and copy the file path for that folder and then set target, set target local folder. I'm going to paste that here and I'm going to click the three periods to double check where these get downloaded. Yeah, it's only the, um, it's only the shorts that are uncompressed. Those are the only ones that are uncompressed out of all the videos I have posted on Internet Archive. And then we click OK, and then those will all start downloading. And yeah, so um, it sometimes will take the full size a while to load up, so you know how how big the files you download you're downloading are. But um, yeah, in order to like stop it from downloading, I mean, hope I hope no one does this, but in order to like stop it from downloading, if the file size is too big, you just click this uh, trash can button up here while you have the job selected, any of the job you any job you want to stop, and then you click uh, the trash can button, and then it will stop downloading, and it'll also delete the files you already have downloaded. 
If you click the X button, however, it will just stop downloading, but it won't delete the ones you already downloaded from this category. So yeah, then basically you just wait for all those to download. And that's how you download all of my YouTube videos from Internet Archive using the program AO Get Beta, or Beta, my bad. So please make sure to download every single one of my YouTube videos. I mean, it's the legacy I built up for myself. I mean, uh, technically, I really only need one person to do it. But the more people who do this, the better. Now, as I said, it's about, it's about three terabytes rounding up. And that's probably drastically rounding up. Last time I checked, it was like a little under two terabytes. But I've been uploading some more stuff onto Internet Archive and everything. Every time I do a new video, I upload it on the Internet Archive. And I'm going to keep doing them, but I'm not going to be doing much more because people on YouTube are not nice at all, and I'm getting tired of YouTube. But I'm going to keep uploading... Well, I might keep uploading more videos on the Internet Archive. Well, yeah, I am going to keep uploading a few more on the Internet Archive. And there's a way to download them individually. Like, as you see, for example, here, you go to MPEG-4, and then you just, like, download any of these, like, individually. So, yeah. But anyway, that's how you do it. So please make sure to download all my videos onto Internet Archive. And in case something ever happens to my YouTube channel, like in case my YouTube channel ever gets deleted and all the videos are deleted with it and take it down, you can still like have them all and download all of them and keep them online forever. Just don't publish them onto YouTube unless something happens to my YouTube channel. So yeah, just don't publish them onto YouTube unless they get deleted from my YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's basically all I have to say. I'm also trying to get them all uploaded onto Rumble, which is something I almost have done, which I'm happy about that. And yeah, that's basically it. And I'll say this again, rounding up, it's about three terabytes to download all 1,500 of my YouTube videos I have posted rounding up and that's extreme rounding up because last time i checked it was just a little bit under two terabytes because as i said these videos are all compressed but i've been adding on to it and am going to add on to it also but that's basically it for this tutorial video so peace out people